Hi guys, in this video we're going to speak about the stochastics which is a very popular indicator, part of the oscillator family of technical indicators. Um, we've got our MT4 screen up open with our, with our MAs and the pivot points up at the moment and under our navigator we have the stochastic situated down here at the bottom. It was created by George Lane when he noticed that as markets reach a peak the closing prices tend to approach the daily highs and vice versa. We call the stochastics leading as opposed to a lagging indicator since it generates signals before they appear in pricing behavior. As I drag and drop the stochastic indicator on I have uh, some options to perhaps change the settings and I'll come to that in just a moment. Traders often use this indicator to determine overbought and oversold conditions at the beginnings and endings of cycles in the forex market. As I click OK um, a generic stochastic has appeared at the bottom of price. It's classified as an oscillator because values fluctuate between 0 and 100 as you can see here on the right hand side of my chart. The indicator chart typically has lines drawn at both the 20 and 80 level and this is where we want to monitor price. Values exceeding this 80 level are interpreted as strong overbought conditions or perhaps selling signals and if the curve drops below the 20 a strong oversold condition or perhaps a buying signal is generated. As with any technical indicator, stochastics will never be 100% correct and false signals can occur but often they're used to give traders an edge in the market. It's always recommended to use an indicator like the stochastics with other technical tools to confirm potential trend changes. At the moment our stochastic is uh, set to this 533 setting um, and this means it flips buy and sell cycles frequently without the lines often reaching the overbought or oversold areas. We can easily adjust this uh, just by right clicking and going to our properties and if we were to opt for for example the 2177 setting you'll see how it differs quite dramatically. Um, this uh, setting looks back at longer period but keeps smoothing out at relatively low levels yielding wider swings that generate fewer buy and sell signals. If I click OK, you'll be able to see the impact it has um, on the general stochastic. Uh, we could even go longer term to perhaps a 21-14-14 14 setting, which takes a, a very big step back, signaling cycles uh, that turn very rarely, um, only near key market turning points. Um, if we were to go back to the 533 setting, I'm just going to show you it in practice and the, the type of assistance that it can provide us with. Um, so just bear with me, that's 533. Three. And this is the very generic setting which is often helpful on the shorter time frames. We can see here we're in an uptrend and it's these types of slowdowns as price comes and approaches this 20 level which is kind of hinting at a potential slowdown in price movement. And as you can see it happens here again as price comes down to this 20 level on our stochastic the slight slowdown signaling potential changes in trend. I'm going to go ahead and throw the stochastic on it on another chart to see its uh, potential on this euro dollar chart. Similar process just literally dragging and dropping the indicator down onto euro dollar. I'm just going to narrow this down a little bit. And as we can see here again in this current uptrend with our 50 EMA situated above our 200 EMA we see our stochastic come down to that 20 level I'm just going to pull out my crosshair so you can see the impact that it potentially has and we could potentially go for a long entry here capturing this turn in trend signified by price coming down to that 20 level 